failing to understand that behavior serves a purpose is a, seems a habit that's worth changing because it's going to distance us from those that we care about or those that we want to try to serve. Behavior serves a purpose. Second, not appreciating that human touch, that attachment, is the best protection that we have against loneliness and isolation and the best protection that we, and the best predictor of a long and healthy life. That's a sad habit uh, that uh, we suffer from and we can all be deprived by its absence. Power of attachment. Third, doing more may seem like a virtue. And, and in fact, the history of medicine is about a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, good intended doctors trying to do more, but often ushering in another whole layer of complication and malaise. As a rule, less is more. And finally, we now live in worlds where we have outstripped our um, inflammatory protective capabilities. Our lives are just overstimulated. Uh, the information, the pace, all of this induces in just about everybody chronic inflammatory state. And unless you want, so I, I, I'm an advocate for having as big and robust a life as we all can have, except that's going to ignite a lot of inflammatory processes. So um, having that kind of life, having the lives that we lead, is one that calls for us uh, attending uh, to our uh, stress in ways that doesn't involve medication, nutrition, exercise, sleep, relationships, breathing, so breathing. And, and finally, the, the reason I'm advocating these four secrets, and you can tell me whether, they're, whether you think they've met the criteria, you know, are they free? Can you act on them right now? Do you have to call anybody for permission? The reason I'm telling you this is because I uh, believe that uh, we are uh, blessed as a species, that humans are blessed. And we're blessed with something that now gets called frequently resilience. We have the capacity to rebuild neurons in our brain. It used to be believed that you, what you had was it. Now we, now we recognize what's called neurogenesis. We can rebuild neurons in our brain. I've, in my work, uh, I was uh, in the city, I was uh, in charge of the mental health response uh, for years after 9-11. Um, and many other disasters, including Hurricane Sandy, which was more devastating in its impact than Katrina. Um, uh, and I have seen how people's lives uh, have been knocked down and how they can be remarkably resilient. And I've seen not just neighborhood, uh, individuals, but neighborhoods, communities, rebuilt. We are a resilient species, but it doesn't happen automatically. We have to work at it. We have to work at it. We need family. We need friends. We need support. Um, and we need to take care of ourselves. And when we do, we can have a good life. So I hope these four secrets make sense to you, that none of them are novel, but that maybe they find some application in your life. So thank you very much for that.